Welcome to our 3v3 matchup in BFME 1 on the patch 2.22 on the map Lebanon. We picked random and we'll get to play with the Isengard army. I mean, one of my opponents has been pre picking the Mordor faction. If you don't know, Mordor is the strongest faction in 3v3 matches because of the crazy damage and armor leadership it can provide. But guess what? Isengard is the best counter to Mordor with the freezing rain button. So we can negate all their leadership. But also, we have the Gondor, Aizen, Rohan combination having three unique factions. Or, you know, in a 3v3 is always great. And Isengard for me is also pretty strong. So for me personally, I think in a 3v3 match, Mordor as a sportive faction is the best. Then it comes, uh, then comes Rohan. You know, you can easily get Glorious Charge. You can easily get Eoma leadership. And then Aizen and then Gondor. Gondor is pretty much the weakest in 3v3. The weak link. I want to get this, uh, actually. Give me the settlement, please. I want to rush Lourdes in this one. Give it to me already, bro. So I can... Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, I like to go for the... Hey, Shanks, love your videos, mate. Oh, oh, thank you very much, bro. MKP. Huge shout out to my boy, MKP. And I didn't pay him to say that, by the way. I didn't pay him. Oh, my God. So much love, bro. So much love. I like it. Okay. So, again, I want to get Lourdes up on the field. Um, You know, having the uh, row 60% damage leadership is always a great thing. Come on, give me the money. So we can scout a little bit with the workers. I want to see what he's doing. Now we have enough money for the Lourdes. Tashi busy shanks. <laughs> don't worry, I will carry you, bro. By the way, if you don't know, Tashi busy means carry us shanks. Okay? I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. I'm actually so excited to final play with you that I choose heal instead of draft. <laughs> MKP. Huge shout out to him, bro. I mean, I think they wanted to leave this creep for Theorin, but not with me. I'm gonna get level 2 here. Get the money, get out. Get the money and get out. Oh, nice. So, I have a good feeling about this, actually. I think we will get easily to the mid to lead game in which Isengard will shine bright like a diamond. Our eco is gonna be phenomenal. So we need to be careful, but Isengard is like the best faction when it comes to counter horses. So you can easily get pikemen and the area you need to protect is kind of small. So the easiest to protect a uh, camp. Ooh, be careful, lords. Okay, nice. Now we can turn and fight. The easiest to protect camp is definitely the Gondor camp. Because there is only one opening. I can just place a pikeman in the porcupine formation. Uh, and then uh, the, the Rohirrim from my opponents can never enter. Remember they had double Rohan, which is pretty strong. And also Mordor. So Mordor is extremely powerful, like mentioned before. There is a hidden hobbit, by the way. I'm afraid that he will try to steal my creep from my lords. We can be annoying a little bit. Put some workers, like, in the towers there and there, you know? I mean, that's a mistake, sir. If you play Mordor in a 3v3, you don't want to go for the orc pit. But listen, when you play 3v3 games, there is a rule. And the thing is, you basically get way faster money, right? Compared to a 1v1 or 2v2. There is like a money boost multiplier and in team games bigger than 2v2 like 3v3 and 4v4 obviously you will get much faster resources so you don't need uh, orcs you can basically skip them and then you can go for um trolls you know drama troll and then witch king right after i'm gonna leave this to boromir i want to cripple uh, use the cripple if there is a hidden hero, in this case the Hobbit, you can kill him without seeing him by right-clicking on a shooting ability. In our case, it's going to be Lourdes, but you can do that with the Spear of, of Elma, Elvin, you know, Hulk Strike from Legolas, even um, the, the Wizard Plus, for example, of Gandalf. Where is he? Where is the hidden Hobbit? Reveal yourself, Mary Dog Brandybuck. Dude, I can't find him. Reveals you. Bro, it's annoying. This Mary is a Houdini. Finally, bro. Finally. 
Oh, okay. So my ally is playing a little bit aggressive there with his heroes. Um, Farah making it away because he's mounted, but if the guy comes bottom me, I don't think... Oh my god, he's coming. I gotta fight this. I have level 3 lords, I have carnage. And I can't let my ally fall. He told me I should carry him, so I can't. I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you. I'm such a nerd. I'm such a nerd. Oh my god, even trolls are coming, boys. Draw this word, lords. Use the carnage. Let it be carnage. Please attack. One more. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, stop dancing around the rosy. Okay, we killed one of them, but I think we are not making it alive out of this one, boys. If you guys need heal, please heal me. Heal. I thank you. Oh my god. Oh my, I even give it to Eomar. That's like the worst thing ever. Need Pikeman ASAP, bro. We need Pikeman ASAP, but I need to revive my lords also ASAP. I hope my ally has some pikemen because they are about to come. They are about to come. Yeah, when this horse come actually with we need you need tower guards, bro. You need tower guards, bro. You need them as soon as possible. Don't hesitate. Just meet them already. It will crush your beast in a second. Your combos without any upgrades and leadership they can't stand. A chance. I can't even watch, bro. That's gonna be painful. My, my Saruman can be received today. Go, go, Saruman. Yeah, I know, I see, I see, bro. But I told you to make Tower Guard. Oh my god, I'm coming. Farah, I can't watch. I can't watch Farah fall. Okay. Can my wizard turn this around? Oh, he's paying attention. I'm gonna use... An I'm gonna need to use fireball actually on the trolls. Okay, now it's time to kill the remaining troll. And if the Rohirrim come nearby, I can always um, steal them. Okay, nice. We defended him actually barely. I, I can I can maybe steal them if they keep fighting. Never mind, he's gonna deal. Okay, that's good. That's good for us. Industry, I will need to use it on my ally actually. You know. Because he's super broke. So let me use it on my ally blacksmith. Okay. Thank you. No, you don't need to thank you, bro. Thank me, bro. Thank me when we win the game, okay? Oh my god. Rohirrim everywhere. That's gonna be super scary. We need to basically spam pikemen. Right? That's what we need to do. I like to give them level 2 first, wait until the level 2 arrive, then level them up, because then they can get level 3. Watch this. They are level 2 now, right? So both of them level 2. And voila, level 3. A whole level. When you have the eco to do that, do this, because, you know, each level, again, will make them so much stronger. So get banner first, give them banner, get them level 2, and then use speechcraft or train archers or whatever you want to, you know? We need Boro and then we can go. Boro has leadership with my... Saruman in Warchant, and my lords only needs a level, so I'm gonna also need to put a pikeman, need gold. I basically gave you industry, bro. I hope you will have the gold very soon. But it's okay, we don't need to wait for Boro. Um, we have pikemen everywhere, protecting every castle of my allies. Every camp, I mean. Um, again, Isengard, pretty much eco-based faction. Like, super, super powerful faction when it comes to economical advantages. Okay, now the camp from my Gondor ally is looking super safe. And we need to take down the outpost there ASAP, okay? Outpost control on the map Levinin is essential. Oh, oh my god, I was not paying attention. Go, go, back, 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 back. Kill, 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 kill. Nice. He has only one troll. What, what is he doing, actually? He's making, like, random stuff. Why you make runes, haradrims, everything, bro? He's trying to press every button to pass the level, you know what I'm saying? Go! Blast them! Show your mighty wizard! I would love to get my Saruman somehow to uh, to the level... Why would you use land? Never use land first, boys, okay? When you watch this video, never... The fight was basically over, and listen... What's happening, actually? Are they disconnecting? I can use the moment... Okay, it's going again. And again, what's happening? And never use land first. The fight was basically over anyway. 
and we have more leadership. The only time you use land is when your enemy has more leadership than you have. But you need to always know the guy who the team which uses the land first will always lose in long terms because they have just the, the chance to cover over. Oh my god, he's coming. That's gonna be a big fight, boys. That's gonna be a big fight. I need to use land to cover this. Now you need it, land, bro. Immediately cover. We need to go for the Rohir March. They are squishy. Sarma, 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 Sarma. Back, 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 back. Use fireball. Do it. Boom. Okay, back, 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 back. Now we will take this dub here like crazy, bro. That's my land. And beautiful heal coming in clutch from my ally. Nice. Ooh, and my wizard is safe just uh, like that. This guy is spamming Haradrums, by the way. What is he doing? <laughs> Look, when I would be one of these Rohans, I would literally try to go for the main camp over and over again, you know what I'm saying? You have too many tower guards, too many pikemen for the Rohirrim to do too much. So, like, for me, then, when there are so many units. It was not le only leggy for you, my friend. It was also leggy for us. Chase them. Okay, now, this guy has to take the outpost. And well... So that's the that's the beautiful combination of good and evil because evil lacks sustain oh be careful evil lacks sustain and good can give you the sustain you don't have so it's like a yin yang situation you know oh this guy has no rohirrim archer so my pikeman is gonna be mvp that watch this it's gonna chase and i put them into the porcupine formation let's build a well there and we can regenerate Oh, my pikeman is gonna be MVP. If he ever runs over me, it's over. Oh, nice. If we actually take to the outpost there, it's amazing. I'm gonna use industry again on my ally because I don't need the money. I have full command points. I have both my heroes. What I want, I could go for Sharku, but at this point, Sharku will have a tough time to level up against fully upgraded army, you know? If, my, if I wouldn't have an ally who went for the cavalry, I would just like go for v Sharku and Warcriders. Also a super nice strategy, because Sharku gives them leadership. They have whole ability plus Warchan, you can actually rise so many bases. Thank you, Shanks. No problem, bro. I got you. Leveling up again. March to Helm's Deep. <laughs> a new power is rising. Oh my god, actually. With a border, we don't need to wait, actually. We can go. I mean, I'm gonna go slowly. Like, my Lord's level 5, Saruman leadership, you know, everything is looking just great. We can't get any stronger than that. And I believe during the next fight, we will also get the required experience to unlock the Freezing Rain spell from our spellbook. Which will guarantee us the dub, the W, okay? Go, march forward. I can use Warchant there, but I'm gonna wait for my ally. I'm scared of a potential land play, so we need to be ready for the... We don't have the team speed right now, we have no communication. But I hope my allies won't be using land again randomly. That's a big Warchant there, actually. This Nazgul is, watch, watch this Nazgul, Nazgul. Look this leadership. One shot. One shot. One opportunity. We need to put them in the pocket formation. That's gonna be a big fight. Ooh, we need to cover the land. Fast, 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 fast. Um, they kinda hard focus my Saruman, bro. The drum. Now kill the Elma, please. Immediately revive him. Nice, we kill Elma too. It's massive. You see this one pikeman I put into in between the combos? They are level 5, bro. <laughs> That's how strong the pikemen are. This land, you can see the glow. It, it belongs to my Gondor ally. That's why it's glowing uh, blue. If you are confused during a big fight, you can always see the glow animation to make sure that you know to know that you know whose land it is. How many glorious charts are there actually? Everybody's glowing like crazy. 
Level 9 Lurts. His master is dead, but his servant is still going. Freezing Rain. Go back to base. Go back to base. Oh my god, I lost my Pikeman actually. My higher level Pikeman, unfortunately. Okay, Craig Craigic has been defeated. The game wasn't actually laggy until the one stupid, like, it was like a dumb fight at the outpost. I don't know what happened that. Besides that, the game was not laggy. It was totally fine. Totally fine. Can't complain. I will take this um, camp, actually, for myself. I need to sneeze, boys. I need to really sneeze a lot. Oof. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Why would you put land there randomly, bro? <laughs> when you when you put a land on a on a spot where a castle can be purchased or a camp or an outpost, the land will just disappear. So you're basically wasting. And what is going on? You're basically wasting and putting it on cooldown for absolutely no reason. You have such highly leveled units, bro. Oh, there is a Nazgul. Kill him. Ooh, he's going for a trample. Actually, beautiful trample into the backline of the crossbowmen. Super nice and smart, actually, because crossbowmen are by far not as durable as the Uruks. But unfortunately for him, my combos are super highly leveled and they don't die to a single trample, you know? I'm gonna go for the uh, Rohan. The Mumak doesn't want to attack. Yeah, you need, you have like a, oof, be careful. You have like a range, you know, with the Mumak kill. Listen, it, trust me, guys, this Rohans had the chance to win. One of them had to go for Rohirrim Archer to clean the pikeman, and then the other one has to go for normal Rohirrim to rush the beasts over and over again. Oof, that's a big army of Rohirrim warriors, though. I wish my... Ooh, look, the power points are rising to the sky. <laughs> look, here, in a second. That's the true power of Isengard. You see, I like this a lot. When you play with combos against somebody who has horses, you can make the pikeman crossbowman combination, you know, but... What you also can do additionally is to put a pikeman and porcupine formation in between your combos. It means if he ever goes for a trample, he needs to go through your porcupine formation pikeman, which will deal hella revenge damage and will lead to one shots with warchant and lurts plus the revenge damage of the pikeman. You have a high potential of one-shotting. Like, Eoma goes through them, gets one-shotted. Maybe Theorin not because of the Glorious Charge uh, defensive capabilities, but every other hero who will touch the pikemen and ride through them or over them will die in a second. I don't think I will get the power points for the Balrog, so... I want to join this party. I need to go... I'm going to use Palanty, actually, just to move a bit faster, you know? Because I don't get the power points anyway. I'm gonna annoy him actually that it will give notification over and over again. The cape is ready. Keep your weapons close. <laughs> Let us go now. Thanks. Get your life. Keep going. I mean now the Mordor one is the last one standing. He has an orc pit again, it's a waste of spot. But it's okay, you know, we are fortunate. Oh, be careful. Saruman. Now steal him. No, 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 Now we need to run. Now we need to run. The Mumaki is angry, boys. The Boromir got knocked down on the ground. Run. Oh, he's coming. Oh, boy, he's coming. Oh, that's so close. That's so close, actually. Oh, my God. Did you guys see that? It was like an inch away. A centimeter was away. From trampling my Saruman like a biscuit. Ooh, the Forgonder ability. Look at the glow, bros. 
I want to just use my speech craft, man. Let it me. I mean, my warm tongue. Let me use it, bro. But the Mumo gets, gets one-shotted. Now we have just too much damage to this Like, Warchant, Voro, Lurts. Levels on the units. Let me steal one thing. Half a level was needed for the Thunderbolt too. No chance. I mean, sorry, bro. GG, well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this 3v3. I like this team games, like 3v3, especially 4v4. They can be absolute fiesta. And, you know, if you also like them, let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more 3v3 or 4v4s on the channel. As always, if you, you know, comment down below, you can also leave a like, subscribe to not miss the upcoming videos. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.